Welcome to AP Biology. We've been talking about cellular respiration with this unit, and in cellular respiration, we always start with sugar, C6, H12, O6. And then we go through glycolysis and pre-Krebs and the Krebs cycle, and we say that you release some carbon dioxide here, you make a whole bunch of carrier molecules, the NADH and the FADH2. But the question is, can you eat other stuff and use other stuff for energy? So how about fats and proteins? How do those work in? And so the answer is, yeah, you can use other molecules for energy. And so, for example, if you break down fats, well, that's okay. Um, fats have the same molecules, right? CH, uh, the same atoms, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Glycerol can be converted to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. You do not need to memorize that intermediate. You just need to know that it's an intermediate. Fatty acids can be converted to acetyl-CoA. Again, don't memorize which molecule is converted to which. You just need to know that fats, um, their breakdown products, can be converted to intermediates of some part of the whole glycolysis Krebs cycle thing. Same thing, uh, and the waste product of fats will also be um, carbon dioxide and water. How do you get rid of this stuff? Well, you breathe it out. Um, how about proteins? Proteins um, aren't just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, right? Proteins Proteins are made out of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. And so what happens with the nitrogen? Well, you have to deaminate um, the amino acid. So that's this word. So you've got some nitrogen, C-H-O-N-S. Um, so the C-H and O will still get broken down. Um, and you'll finally release that as carbon dioxide and you'll breathe it out just like if the carbon had come from carbs or fats. But the nitrogen is different. You have to deaminate um, your amino acid. You have to take the nitrogen out. And that nitrogen you're going to lose as urine. So you don't excrete that um, you know, with your lungs with breathing. You have to excrete it as urine. And then there are breakdown products from the amino acids um, that can be Come um, pyruvate or acetyl-CoA or some intermediate in the citric acid cycle. So yes, we can break down other foods besides sugars. In fact, sugar's not really very good for you. It's what your cells will use first, but um, you get pretty hungry if all you eat is sugar. Uh, fats and proteins are probably better for you to eat, or complex carbs even better, right? So intermediate of glycolysis and cellular respiration are used for several other catabolic and anabolic processes. So you can break them down um, to make other things that you might need, or anabolic, build them up to make other stuff that you might need. So that might mean that like citrate, the first molecule here, that might be used to build up some other molecule in your body that you might need. They, um, another thing that AP wants you to be able to do is explain the connection between variation in the numbers and types of molecules within cells and the ability of an organism to survive and reproduce in different environments. So survive and reproduce is this idea of fitness. Fitness means, can you survive and reproduce? So in some environments, I do just great. So if there's oxygen around, I can do all of these um, processes, and so I can go on and live another day. If we're in an anaerobic environment, I don't do very well there, but there are other bacteria. Uh, well, not like I'm, I'm not a bacterium, but there are bacteria, so they have variation compared to me, right? And they can live in their environment uh, because some of them can live in an anaerobic environment. And so they do just fine there. Um, and then the other idea is that we can eat more than just carbohydrates. So that also is some variation. So it's another way to look at this objective. So if I have only fats to eat for a while, um, I'm, I'm going to be OK. I don't have to have sugar. Um, if I have just proteins to eat, you know, I'm OK. Um, maybe better, because I've got some nitrogen that I might need for something else. All right, I think that's the end of my story.